guys, welcome back to Step and Adam, a channel dedicated to showing you how easy and simple it is to make delicious plant-based food. And today we're going to be talking about mix and match meal prep. Now you might be thinking, what does that mean? So today I opened up my fridge and I saw what you've all probably seen at some point too. You've seen a bunch of like random stalks of asparagus and random little bits and pieces of vegetables and you've probably thought, there's nothing to eat. And so today when I opened my fridge and saw the same thing, I thought today's the day I'm going to show you how to do a mix and match meal prep, which really just means you're going to cook up a bunch of little things and throw them all together into different meal preps so that way you can make a significant amount of food even though it looks like you don't have anything to make. So when I opened my fridge, I saw some broccoli, a little bit of asparagus, some green beans, some peppers, I have a lemon, I have onion and garlic, and then I opened my cupboard and I found other random ingredients like artichokes, peanut butter. Uh, my personal favorite is when you see this, like does this ever happen to you guys? You have just a little bit of something in this bottle, but you've already opened the next one, right? We've all been there, I know. So then I have pasta and rice and I have cans of beans. So in reality, I do actually have a significant amount of food. So then what I did was I took my sticky notes, I figured out what combinations of food I could make. So I know that I have some almonds here and I have some random green beans and I have a lemon. And that's Adam's favorite thing to make is lemon with some uh, almonds and green beans. So I'm gonna turn that into a little veggie side and maybe that will end up getting paired with some rice and some chickpeas. And then the green beans might end up getting paired with some pasta. So you, you're actually gonna have a bunch of different meals, which might be very appealing to some people who don't wanna feel like they're eating the same thing over and over. This is also a great way to just clean out your fridge in case you have random little things and you're just gonna clean out the whole fridge and you're gonna come out with lots and lots of food. So let's get started. I came up with some of the ideas that I'm going to be making today on these sticky notes. I then figured out which foods are going to take the longest and then I numbered them so that way I know where to start first. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the oven on to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And it is 2.15 on the dot right now so let's see how much we can get done in the hour. I'm pretty sure we will be finished with all this food. So the second thing is I'm going to put up a pot of rice and a pot of water for the pasta, which I already have the water in here. I'm going to make two cups of rice. So there's four cups of water in this smaller pot and then there's water in the big pot for the pasta. So we're going to put the flame on for both of those. Next we're going to get these trays prepared with the food that's going to go in the oven because obviously oven things are going to take longer than stuff that you're going to cook on top of the stove. I have some random asparagus and broccoli here. I'm actually just going to leave this asparagus whole, make it easy. Chuck it on the tray. And this broccoli I'm going to cut up into smaller florets. Got my scrap bowl ready to go. What I could have done, what I usually do when I have a bunch of random vegetables, we usually just throw it all together and put it in a stir fry. But since we've done that before and you guys have seen us make stir fries, I decided to show you another way to cook up all this random food that you have. So if you wanted to, you could just make a giant stir fry or you can do it this way, which will give you a little bit more variety in your week. Now for this tray, I'm just gonna drizzle with some olive oil, add some salt and pepper, and I could put some lemon on top of this, but since I'm gonna use the lemon for the green beans, for this, I'm gonna finish off this coconut aminos that I have. If you have soy sauce, you can use soy sauce. Coconut aminos is soy free though, so if you cannot have soy, which my body does not like soy, uh, so I have to use coconut aminos. And I'm also gonna add some crushed garlic. You could just cut up the garlic if you would like, but today I'm gonna be super fast and just crush it up. You don't even have to take the skin off the garlic when you have a really good garlic press like this one. So that was about three cloves of garlic. Now I'm gonna mix it together. Set this aside and I'm gonna prepare the next tray. So our friends at Melissa's Produce sent us these adorable little mini squashes and I'm just going to pull off the tops and if there's any like little icky parts, I'm just gonna cut those off and then I'm just gonna chuck them on the tray and roast them up. Also, this is a tip. After you wash your produce, you can put them in meal prep containers because you're going to use the meal prep containers anyway. So, no need to dirty something else. If you have regular zucchini or squash, you can do the same exact thing that we are doing. Just make sure that you cut up your zucchini into small pieces. 
Oh, now I have to show you what the inside looks like. This is super cool. Check that out. Now I'm gonna do the same thing for this one. I'm just gonna drizzle with some olive oil and just some salt and pepper. Mix with your hands. And now put both trays in the oven. We're gonna check on those in 20 minutes, so set a timer. The rice water is boiling, so now I'm gonna add in two cups of rice. And now I have to say I just had a total mom brain moment because you're supposed to put this specific rice, you're supposed to put the rice together with the water and bring it to a boil. So I'm gonna start with that again. <laughs> Follow your own package directions on your rice because some rices say to boil the water first. This one, I was supposed to put the rice in here. So I'm gonna just put this on again with four cups of water and two cups of rice and then that'll just cook itself. All right, so you guys know we keep it real here. Okay, next we have the beans with the lemon and the garlic and the almonds. So I have some green beans here. I have a lemon. I'm just gonna cut the lemon in half. Toss these green beans into a flat pan right here. Add in some olive oil and start cooking that on a medium heat. I have about three quarters of a cup to a cup of raw almonds here. Give them a rough chop. Add some salt and pepper to the beans, mix together. Put on a high heat and add in the almonds. Mix together, cover, and let that cook. Maybe just two minutes or so. Okay, next we have peppers and onions. I'm gonna make a side of peppers and onions. So I have some peppers here, and I have a random leftover onion. So I'm just going to make some slices of the onion. And I'm gonna set them aside in the same meal prep container I had the squash in before. I'm gonna use another half of an onion. Just do the same, cut some slices. Set them aside. Now I'm gonna cut the bell peppers into strips. I'm gonna pause on this and give this a toss. The green beans and almonds are getting a nice char on them, which is what you want. The rice is boiling, so I'm gonna turn that down to a low heat and cover with a lid. Set the peppers aside. Now I'm gonna add some of the lemon into the green beans. Turn your flame on low, and then those will be ready in just a minute, which is perfect timing because now the peppers and onions will be ready to cook. So I've got three peppers here. This is the fancy cutting techniques that I learned from Mr. Chef AB. If you haven't yet, you definitely have to check out that video that Adam made about knife skills because it'll save you a ton of time when you're meal prepping. And I just heard Sophie just woke up from her nap. <laughs> so she might be making an appearance if she's not super cranky. They are nice and toasty and they look amazing. Now, I'm not, I don't have to clean this. I'm just going to wipe it out so that none of the burned bits keep getting burned. Just obviously be very careful because it's very hot. <laughs> so here's a very good example of why when you make your um, flow chart here of what you're gonna prepare, you think in advance of what pots and pans you're gonna use because I almost just used the same pot I used, but that's actually, I'm gonna use the, that for the beans and onions. And then here, I'm gonna use a wok for the peppers and onions. It's just stuff that you think about in advance um, because in this, I wouldn't make beans and onions in a wok. So I'm gonna make peppers and onions in here. Writing that down on that sticky note just saved me or else in five minutes I would've been like, oh man, I used the wrong pot. So you're gonna add the onions, add some olive oil, and put that on a medium flame. Meanwhile, the pasta pot is finally boiling, so now I'm gonna toss in the pasta. I just have some chickpea linguine. That's 16 ounces of linguine. Make sure your pot is salted. And I have two minutes on the timer right now for the stuff in the oven, so I'll take that out so that I can restart a timer for the pasta, which is just an eight minute timer. I'm just gonna take one out at a time and give it a toss. It smells so good. Garlic and the aminos, so good. The broccoli was on the top shelf, now they're on the bottom shelf. All right, put those back in. Now I'm gonna put my timer on for seven minutes. And don't forget to occasionally stir your pasta. While I wait for these onions, we're just gonna cut up one more pepper. Now I'm gonna throw in the peppers, stir together, add some salt, mix and cover. That's on like a medium high heat. I'm gonna check if the rice is ready and stir the pasta. The rice just needs a few more minutes and that's gonna be done. 
Okay, next we have the beans and onions. I thought to do that because I have this random bunch of cilantro that's dying in my fridge right now and I needed to use it. So I realized oh, I have some canned beans and I have some onion. And then last but not least, we're going to make a spinach with some lemon and garlic. I don't really know what time it is, but it's definitely not 3.15 yet. <laughs> so now I'm just going to dice up this other half of the onion. I'm going to set that aside in the same meal prep containers I've been using the whole time. You don't need cilantro to make this. Um, if you don't have the cilantro, just leave this part out. Just give it a rough chop, and I'm going to add it to the onions. The rice should be done now, so I'm actually going to take it off the oven and set it aside, and then I'm going to stir the pasta. And the peppers and onions. I'm just going to set aside the rice and leave it on a hot pad, and take off the lid so that it starts to cool down so that we can so that we can put it in some meal prep containers in a little bit. You don't want to overcook the pasta, so I'm going to check it right now. Another minute. While I wait for that minute, I'm just going to drain two cans of black beans. My black beans are now rinsed and drained and ready to go. The pasta's done. I'm going to drain that in this colander. Put some cool water on the pasta to stop it from cooking, and then I'm going to put it back in the pot with a little bit of olive oil so it doesn't stick. Okay guys, we are almost done. So the peppers and onions are now finished. So I'm going to take them out and put them in another glass container. So it is 3 o'clock, we are almost done. I am going to now cook up some spinach really fast and then that'll be it for the veggies. So I have some garlic here that I am just gonna toss into this wok. Sophie! <laughs> and to that I'm gonna add a bunch of handfuls of spinach. That'll take just a minute or two to wilt down. I'm going to add some lemon juice on top. I just realized I didn't put the beans on yet. Covering that so it's not so loud. So back into the other pot, we're going to add the onions and cilantro that we had ready before. Add a tablespoon of olive oil and saute that. The pasta can come off the stove because it's already cooked and finished. Now for this pasta, we're actually gonna make a really super fast peanut sauce because I have peanut butter Okay, I just had to take a four minute break because I had to fix the card in the camera. But we're back. I'm going to come back and stir the beans and stir the spinach. Burned the spinach because I walked away to fix the card in the camera, but that's fine. You would have just stopped it when you saw that it was wilted. While we wait for the onions to continue to saute, we are going to quickly make the sauce for the pasta. So I wrote it out here so I wouldn't forget. We need a half of a cup of peanut butter, five tablespoons of sesame oil, uh, five tablespoons of coconut aminos or soy sauce, a tablespoon of a sweetener of your choice, and two cloves of garlic. And then you're just gonna whisk all that together and it's done. Hey Sophie. She's looking at me eating her peas. <laughs> Hi. You good over there? We got our two cloves of garlic. Now we're gonna put a little bit more than a quarter of a cup of coconut aminos and also of the, the sesame oil. If you don't have sesame oil, you can use regular oil, but the sesame oil really gives it that authentic flavor. A tablespoon of sweetener of your choice. I'm gonna use honey, you can use agave, uh, whatever you would like. Just check on the stuff in the oven. I'm gonna turn off the oven and let those sit until I have some space to take them out, but they're done. The onions are sauteed, so now I'm gonna add in the beans and about a quarter of a cup of water. Add some salt and then let that cook for about five minutes until the water is absorbed. You can also add about a teaspoon of cumin if you have some. Okay, so back to our peanut butter sauce. And we need some peanut butter. <laughs> hey, Sophie, I'm almost done. Half a cup of the peanut butter. And that's it. Now we're just gonna whisk it together. And we're gonna be on a. Uh... <laughs> IGTV on the story. Look at that. Wow. Look like and guys. subscribe on Instagram. Look at that. Instagram Live through Instagram Live. You guys are going to see yourself in the, in the future. In the real video. That's right. Woo. That's beautiful. All right. So we got a nice peanutty sauce. And now I'm going to add in some of the pasta. Mommy's almost done. I promise. No. I could have made more sauce, but instead, to give it some variety, I'm going to 
I'm gonna leave this pasta with the sesame sauce, and for that pasta, I'm gonna put some marinara sauce in there so that it's a little bit different. To finish these sesame noodles off, when I put them in the containers, I'm going to <laughs> I'm gonna add some sesame um, some sesame seeds on top. That's it. Everything is done. The beans are now done. It is exactly 3:16. So now I'm just gonna clean up a little bit and then show you how to plate it up. You can just literally put these in your fridge like this and then mix and match when you want to eat your meal. But instead, what I'm gonna do is I am going to mix and match them so that the meals are already ready and uh, done so that you can see how you can make so much variety out of all this food. First, we've got some of the peanut noodles and it also depends on how much room you have in your fridge. So if you don't have a lot of room in your fridge, maybe you wanna mix and match a few meals and then leave the rest in the big containers so that way uh, you don't have like a million little containers in your fridge. They are delicious cold. You do not need to heat these up. I'm gonna just top with some sesame seeds. I'm gonna put some of the broccoli that was in the oven and the asparagus I will put in another container. I'm gonna add some rice to the asparagus and some rice in two other containers. I'm gonna add some of the beans. This one I'll make a little combo of some rice, some peppers and onions, add a little bit of beans. Now to this rice over here, I'll add some of the green beans. And I'll put some green beans with these peppers. And I'll put some green beans with the other peanut noodles right here. Here we got the squash. Mmm, those are good. Wow. I'm gonna add some of the squash. And so this one, remember before I told you how I didn't have um, enough sauce for all the pasta, so I was gonna put some red sauce in here. So I'm just gonna put some marinara with this pasta. Finish off one before you open another one, right? Oh no! Of course, I get dirty in the last five seconds of filming. So with this squash, we got some pasta. And I'll put a little bit of pasta with marinara sauce in this one that has the green beans and the peppers and onions. So that's the idea, you just mix and match everything and then you're not gonna be eating the same thing every single day. We actually put a whole section of mix and match meal prep in our new book, the plant-based meal prep book. And you can grab this in the link in the description box below if you like this idea of, of mix and match meal prep. And that's it. So we are so glad you guys are enjoying this newer style of content. And we wanted to let you know about something that is still in the works, but just giving you a heads up that this is coming. At the end of next month, we are actually gonna be working with a company who is developing a really awesome new app. And you guys are going to have an intimate setting with us. We're actually gonna do a style of video just like this one, but you guys are gonna be able to cook with us and we'll be able to hear you uh, we won't be able to see you, but the idea is that we'll be cooking. You'll see every single second, not just like a 20 minute edited down video. You'll get to watch us in real time and you'll be cooking with us. You're gonna have all the ingredients beforehand and then you're just gonna turn your computer on and you are going to cook with us so you can ask us questions. And it's actually a really cool interactive platform. So that is gonna come up at the end of March. So we'll keep talking about it. The more details that we um, have to share with you and that's it. It's gonna be very limited though, so there's not gonna be a lot of openings, but uh, just a heads up, we'll be talking about that as soon as we have more details. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this new mix and match meal prep. Leave a comment below, let us know what you think, and we'll catch you next time. Bye, guys.